Have you ever wondered why so many cultures tend to prefer a certain collection of notes in the music that they make? Well, the answer may be explained by Pythagoras. Hey everybody, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the Listener's Guide, and Pythagoras may best be known for his work with the proportions of the sides of right triangles, but in fact he focused on the proportions of a lot of different things, including the length of strings and the effect on pitch. This discovery made a huge impact on Western music and the sounds that we choose to use. In order to demonstrate it, I'm gonna need my own set of strings, something that you may have in your house. I can already feel the women throwing themselves at me, but they're gonna have to wait because science. Alright, so we're gonna start by plucking the lowest string that we can, which is a low E. With nothing obstructing the string, this is what we call the root. Now we can cut the string in half by putting our finger on the fretboard, and then we get the same note higher up. So this gives us a proportion of 1 to 2. Let's try it with a proportion of 1 to 3. That gives us a B, or a ratio of 1 to 3, but if I want to go any less than that, I'm gonna have to go off the fretboard. Fortunately, Physics is on our side. It gives us one more way to divide up the string. By lightly putting my finger on the string instead of pushing it all the way down to the fret, I'm actually placing what we call a node in the middle of the string that causes it to vibrate as if it were cut in half without actually cutting it in half. This also works if I want to divide it by three. So now we can divide it even further if we want to. For instance, when we divide it by four, we get the same note as the root two octaves up because we've divided half by half. And then if we divide it by five, we get a brand new note. This is a G sharp. So just to review, if we start with the string unobstructed, we get the root. Then we divide it by two, we get the root higher up. If we divide it by three, we get a fifth above that. If we divide it by four, we get the root higher up again. If we divide it by five, we get a third above that. I have just outlined an E major chord. So when we divide it by six, we get two times three. Then if we divide it by seven, the sound actually starts to get a little bit ugly and it's hard to show on the guitar. Basically, the prime numbers above five start to sound really strange, so we're just gonna skip them. So like I said, I can't really get any higher harmonics on this guitar because it gets too precise down at the end of this fretboard, but I can tell you that if we follow the same rules that we just established, only multiplying proportions we've already had by proportions that we've already had and not adding any prime numbers, we would get 1 to 8, which is E, 1 to 9 giving us F sharp, 1 to 10 giving us G sharp, 1 to 12 giving us a B, and the 1 to 13 actually sounds kind of okay giving us a C sharp. We've just created a pentatonic scale based on proportions of the string length. And if you adjust the in-between prime numbers that we skipped, you actually get a decent sounding major scale. So Pythagoras, man, he described with mathematics how the major scale sounds so nice to us. How cool is that? So now I'd like to take a moment just to thank everybody who's been so supportive of this project so far. I am still trying to get the word out, so I would appreciate it if you keep sharing and sending those nice words that you have been. But I'm going to be going back to normal vlogging this Wednesday, at least for now. I would like to make this project its own separate thing on its own channel so that people who sign up to watch it can watch it and it won't get in the way of people who actually just like watching my vlogs. If you know people who can help me do that, that would be great. These videos take a lot of work and a lot of attention and a lot of time. And I don't really have much of any of those right now, but I would love to make that not the case. So if you know anybody who can help, that would be great. I would really appreciate it. And if not, please just keep sharing these videos and I'll be working on them a little bit more later. So really, thank you for all the support that I've gotten. Please keep it going. And I'll see you next time on The Listener's Guide.